Hey everyone, and welcome to my video on Dragondorf Reagent and using it to test for alkaloids. Now, before I use Dragondorf Reagent, I'm going to be making it. And it's made out of potassium iodide and bismuth subnitrate, so first I'm going to be making some bismuth subnitrate. Now, I made bismuth subnitrate in a previous video, in which I dissolved bismuth in nitric acid, which is what I'm doing right here. However, seeing as this is the only video I could find on the internet, of bismuth dissolving in nitric acid, I wanted to be sure to clearly show this reaction. So this is bismuth dissolving in nitric acid. You see a lot of nitrogen dioxide gas, which is why I'm doing this outside, being very careful not to inhale any. So anyway, I just want to make sure everyone could see the reaction, and I'll be skipping ahead to when I make the Dragondorf reagent. So for those interested in seeing the reaction, here is it, uh, maybe 5 to 10 minutes later, the solution's taken on a different color, and you can see the bismuth is bubbling quite readily. There's three pieces in there. Steady production of nitrogen dioxide, though it has slowed down a bit. You can see some uh, crystals of bismuth nitrate have splattered up to the top and are crystallizing out. Um, there you go. Alright, now it's time to prepare the Dragondorf reagent. First, get 10 grams of potassium iodide and dissolve it in 100 milliliters of water. This should be pretty easy, as potassium iodide is really soluble. Also, you should feel the solution cool down a little bit, and that's because a dissociation of potassium iodide is endothermic. Next, get 0.8 grams of bismuth subnitrate. After the reaction finished between the bismuth and the nitric acid, I poured the bismuth nitrate solution into sodium carbonate solution. Uh, the sodium carbonate was there to neutralize the nitric acid so that the nitrate could decompose to the subnitrate. And I have to say, I was very surprised with the amount of volume I got of bismuth subnitrate. It was really quite large. Anyway, so dissolve it in about 10 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. This might be harder to do. Alright, I'll skip over this part and... Both solutions are well dissolved now, and I'm adding the hydrochloric acid subnitrate solution to the potassium iodide solution. And immediately the solution goes orange. To finish it, Add 100 more milliliters of distilled water. And there is freshly prepared Dragondorf reagent. I'm going to be storing this in the amber glass bottle and showing you some uses for it. So Dragondorf reagent is used to test for alkaloids. It precipitates a orange precipitate as opposed to in distilled water where it just stays yellow, as we're about to see. So, for my test, I'm going to be showing um, tonic water, which contains quinine, which is an alkaloid, compared to distilled water. Um, also, I'm going to be trying to test for caffeination in drinks, because caffeine is an alkaloid. Um, if you want me to post the results of that, I will after I test it. But for now, I'm just going to be showing it with tonic water. So. A few drops of Dragondorf reagent are removed from the bottle. First in distilled water. We just see the uh, yellow color as the Dragondorf reagent dilutes. <laughs> now in the tonic water, we see a bright orange precipitate.
and that bright orange precipitate is the positive result for alkaloids. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, please feel free to ask me any questions and give me suggestions for upcoming videos. Alright, all credit for that video goes to the home scientist. I learned it from his video on Dragondorf Reagent. And I got a lot of questions about Dragondorf Reagent after my video on bismuth, nitrate, and oxide. So I thought I'd show it. Um, I know this isn't a sub for science video, but I have one channel I'd really like to promote. Uh, Chemical Mist, or Mist32YT. Um, it's rather a new channel uh, with a lot of organic chemistry, but um, really high quality videos. So please check them out and subscribe if you'd like to. Uh, lastly, I'd like to say that um, school and band are starting up a lot, so I've been really busy and probably won't be able to post regularly for a few weeks. So I might go two, three weeks, maybe a month in between posts. But I'll still be online to answer questions and reply. So, thanks.